Hey, welcome back. My name is Connor Benham. I, I run wellfedbusiness.com with the Evable Genius, and you're going to be watching a clip from the Wellfed Business podcast where we're re revealing how you can sell almost anything with this one weird trick. We're going to be covering common beliefs about sales that are utterly incorrect around things such as needing engagement and relationships to sell. People just want to make a sale, get out your own way. We're going to be talking about why people are afraid to sell. And then most importantly, four simple steps anyone can follow to sell premium things at premium rates. Enjoy. Let's dig into that one for a second, because this is an actual thing which is happening in our business right now. We are talking to a guy who's high up in the UK. He's a VP in the UK in this large multinational firm, $3 billion business. And in our conversations with this guy, we found out that the entire company has got head offices in Denmark. The entire company, from the CEO, CEO down, they have no unified sales system or strategy. It's left to the VPs of each individual region in the different countries. That's absurd. So what I'm going to do is what I bet almost no one, I bet even seasoned cold quarters don't do this. I'm going to get the CEO's I'm number, and I'm going to call him. And I'm not going to wear a suit. I'm going to be exactly as I am now. And I'm going to tell him that, you know, obviously using my special methods that don't won't get his back up, that what he's doing is absurd. I'll be speaking to the CEO of a $3 billion multinational company. Anybody could do this. Anybody, but in, and, but you can imagine, right? Imagine I do that to 100 CEOs of 100 multinationals. I've only got to close one. And you could be talking of hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of business, possibly millions. You just don't know. But instead, what people do, but they will do the same do amount of work, work but target much work, less target affluent, much less prestige. Not, I'm not looking at prestige. Much less, much less, much less yeah, affluent clients, yeah, affluent. less able to pay, less willing to pay. Less They'll target, less say, one-man bands target, and freelancers, like the mistake we've made in the past. But they just don't have the money. They won't have the will, but they don't have the wherewithal. A $3 billion business, right, our fees for, say, a countrywide training of 100 people wouldn't even be an accounting rounding error to them. They've just, they've just made a £1.1 1. 1 billion pound or dollar um, acquisition. They grow by acquisition. Our fees, no matter how ridiculous they were, wouldn't even be a rounding error to them. But we, but the approach is the same, and in many ways, the those kinds of clients are easier to sell to. No, it's, it's, they want to fix is, their pain. They want to fix their problem. Yeah. They've got the money uh, to do so. And, and the reason well, we know, because we've got a, we've got another yet another client, sometime client, who's in a forty-two k a year mastermind, and they are the they're, they're doing nearly a million a year, and they are the poorest guys in this mastermind. And we they just been to a meeting. And they were the poorest guys in the room. And we said, or Connor said to this guy, well, what what kind of business problems do these people have? And our mate says, they have the same problems everyone else does, from us on up and, and down, sales. And some of these guys have not even the slightest perception or idea or fucking even a whiff of what they can do, like, Upfront payments, continuity, high end masterminds. They just, it's just not on the radar. And so these are the guys, some of these people are doing like 80,000 a day over Stripe and they've never heard of continuity. It's insane. It, but I, I can't even articulate it. Do you want to know how they got there? Oh, I do, yes, very do you much. Do know how they got there? <laughs> yeah. They didn't worry about engagement. Or any of that crap. Uh, the reason they make marketing. so much money and make so many sales is that's all they focus on: sales, sales, sales. And only at the point where they're doing eighty thousand day, uh, eighty thousand pound days, that they're looking to really fine tune their marketing. They've just been sales focused. Um, if you believe that, if I if I get a certain amount of likes, someone will like me and like me enough to buy from me. At some point, you're lost. You're broken. And I'd imagine it's down to uh, a fear around selling because it's scary. I, you've got to be honest, John. It can be scary for a new new, new salesperson. Mm. 
I, I, I don't, I can't relate Can to that, be. but I, 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 I believe it. I mean, I'm not going to argue with you. I, I've never had okay. that. But... It was a rhetorical question. I was just looking for backup. It's true. Um, yeah, you're, it you're is true, but I'm just saying I can't relate to it. Their... I know, big boy. Um, and then also people don't believe in themselves, especially if it is one-man bands or if you've got sales team. The sales team themselves don't believe in what they're selling. So it compounds. One, you're not actually optimizing for sales. You're optimizing for engagement and relationships. Two, you haven't got the uh, the bollocks to enter that sales scenario. And when you do, you've got uh, imposter syndrome going on. You don't fully believe in yourself to deliver or the sales team doesn't deliver, uh, believe that the company can deliver what they're selling. So therefore, subconsciously almost, there'll be something holding them back because there's that lack of belief. And then that's where people go, oh, no, I, I, I don't focus on sales. Sales is icky. I'll just rely on inbound and uh, I'll take what comes. And then that's yeah. how you fall down the trap of letting yeah. random leads dictate the direction of your business. Uh, right, I've got to make things for these people that are talking for me rather than thinking, no, I'm going to make the, make something that is high impact of high value is worth a lot of fucking money, and then I'm going to find the people to sell it to. The assertive route, or you, most businesses just take the passive route. I'll take what comes, and then I'll make products for the people that come. Wrong. I'm going to make a prediction here to anyone listening to this. If you're in a business and you have experience of feast and famine, so your sales feel like they're out of your control, and sometimes you have good months and sometimes you have bad months and you don't really know why it just happens if you're experiencing that i would predict two things the first is i will predict you almost certainly don't do any cold outreach at all i pretty much can guarantee you are relying on inbound marketing and the second thing i will guarantee with a hundred percent accuracy i'm sure now, I could be wrong for occasion on that first one, but this one I'm completely accurate on, I guarantee it. That is, you have no structured process for selling. Because if you did, you would not be having feast and famine. You might have famine, absolutely, because your sales process might be crap, but you wouldn't have feast and famine, not not in a regular basis. You might have bumps, but you won't have this regular cycle of feast and famine because you will have a measure of control over your sales process because you have one. But I guarantee if you've got feast and famine, you're either, you, you'll have mostly inbound marketing and no cold outreach, and you have no sales system. Possibly both of those things. We can help you both of those, yeah. funnily enough, very effectively. So we you can. too could be having 67 to 73K weeks, just like we've had. Not bad for a middle-aged autistic hermit who was told by his school teachers it never amount to much because he couldn't write very well. Handwriting, that is, not the actual words. I'm very literate. So kind of almost bring this to a close. Speak about people's problems. Let people know that you can fix their problems. Call them to action. Always let them know their next step. Triage them. You don't want to be ding dealing with dingbats, tire kickers, and time oh, wasters. I love triage. Say it again. And then sell to them. And uh, triage. And then sell to them <clears throat> at a fucking premium price. And when you when, when when you say them the magic solution and you give your price, just say higher numbers. It's just different words. At the end of the day, it's all just air moving, being picked yeah. up by our ears, being interpreted by the brain. It's, just, it's not that it's not that important. Just yeah, say, I mean... say different words. <laughs> The easiest way to make my money is just say different words. I mean, how fucking simple is that? Just say a different word rather than saying, oh, yeah, it's a, a thousand pound a month. You say it's five thousand pound a month. 